Hey guys, welcome to another video. Just at Oteki Beach. I've just come to Oteki to pick up another bike. Okay, this is the Diamondback uh, road bike that I've come to pick up from Oteki here. Now this is a early 90s Diamondback road bike. So we'll get it back to the garage and we'll check it out. Welcome back guys, here you have it, early 90s Diamondback Expert TG road bike. Let's um, take a look at the components and condition of the bike. Okay, we'll start off with the components on this bike. So the front and rear brake calipers are Shimano RX100s, which I think is an entry level group set of the time. Um, brake levers, RX100. We come down to the front derailleur that's a Shimano RX100 as well as well as the rear derailleur. The rear cluster is 7 speed and we've got two chain rings on the front so 14 speed bike. Now these shifters are RX100. Looking at these rear brake pads here they look to be pretty much brand new. I've had very little wear on them. Same goes for this back tyre here, you can still see the centre moulding mark on this tyre, so it's had very little use. Front tyre is still pretty much brand new. So it's had a bit of work on it. I'm just going to have a check of this chain, it looks pretty dirty to me though, but it's possible that it might be a new chain. Now this rear um, cluster here doesn't look too worn to me. Normally they'll shark thin out a bit if they are worn. And we'll just check the wear on this. So we'll just grab a chain wear indicator. How you read this tool is you've got two readings on here. Now some tools may have more readings but this has just got two so you've got 0.75% chain wear and then you've also got a 1% chain wear. General rule of thumb, if your chain's 0.75% worn, it needs replacing. So we'll pop this into the chain and we'll just see how worn it is. We'll just take the chain tool. First we'll just check if it's 1% worn. So you just drop the hook into the end of the chain here. If it is 1% worn, this chain tool will just fall into the center of the chain link there. So you can see it doesn't fall in there, which means it hasn't quite reached that 1% worn stage. The next stage is 0.75%. Okay, so it doesn't fall into the 0.75% worn stage either. So we can conclude that this chain is fine. Normally when you replace a chain like this, you also replace the rear cluster. So I'm pretty confident just looking at that cluster as well that that's a new one. The chain just looks pretty dirty, um, that's easily cleaned up. We'll take a look at the frame on this bike. So this is a steel framed bike and a steel fork. It's a chromo frame. Now I'm not sure on the pronunciation of this but I normally call it a tangy frame but um, I've heard people pronounce it as tang or tange which I think is the Japanese pronunciation, but don't quote me on that one. Size-wise of this bike, we'll give it a measure up and we'll weigh it just out of interest sake. So I'll just grab a tape measure. Right, we'll take the measure of this top tube first. So we'll just start at the center of the seat tube and we'll just run up to the center of this head tube here. You're looking at about 56 centimeters and if we run from the top tube center 
to the center of the crank here You're looking at about 55 centimeters and if we just run that up to the top of the seat tube looking at about 56.5 centimeters there. Now the reason why I'm um, just measuring the size of this bike up is we'll give it away and the bigger the frame size the heavier the bike so this will just give you an idea on how heavy this bike is. My guess is it's going to be gosh um, let's say it'll be over 11 kg just as a wild guess but we'll uh, check it out. Okay, so I'm not too far off. It's uh, 10.82 kg, which I guess isn't too bad for an early 90s bike. So if we put, look at the pounds, that's 23.85 pounds. Um, yeah, I'm quite surprised. I actually thought it would be heavier than 11 kg just lifting it. So um, yeah, that's not too bad at all. Okay, we'll chuck it back on the stand and we'll have a look at some other components. We'll take a look at the wheel set on the bike. So the hubs on the front and rear of the bike are Shimano RX100. Now the spokes are stainless. And if we take a look at these rims here, this is interesting. Um, these are Sun Mistral rims and it's got here made in USA. So I've had a look online, the sun rims are made offshore now, so um, that's quite interesting to see the made in USA sticker there. Now this saddle just looks like the original one, it's just got a seat cover on it. Um, as you can see it's pretty worn down there. So I'll replace this saddle with something different. And if we just move along to the handlebars here, we've got a Tioga Avenger stem. Now, I don't know how well this camera will show this, uh, but this is a Centurion branded handlebar. And I noticed the Centurion brand was also down here on the frame. I've done a bit of research on this um, brand and it looks like Centurion and Diamondback were under the same umbrella and this brand was later rebadged as Diamondback. Okay, well there's a few things on this bike I'm going to tidy up. I'll replace the handlebar tape on this and I'll replace the saddle and just give the components and frame a good tidy up okay guys that's the end of this video thanks for having a look at this bike with me so i'm gonna make another video just giving this bike a bit of a tidy up we'll just replace a few things on it so keep an eye out for that thanks for watching and i'll catch you on the next video